And Tracy, before we came here, we stopped in a parking lot where we talked to two people voting for Dr. Mehmet Oz, two people voting for John Fetterman, and one person who is still deciding. And that is a pretty good description of what Bucks County has been. It has been a very politically mixed county. Now, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, was able to boost Democratic votes here in 2020. The question now, whether Democrats can do it again in other statewide races. In Bucks County, a colorful batch of campaign signs in what's been known as a politically purple county. With a week left to go, Barbara Jennings with a dilemma in the Senate race. I'm still deciding. I haven't really come to a conclusion yet. It's going to be very close. By this point on the calendar, Jennings says she's usually decided. What's important to you this year as you're making your decision? Well, I think the abortion issue has a lot. I really do. But, um, and inflation? with groceries and everything. Democrat John Fetterman and Republican Mehmet Oz have both been courting the suburbs outside of Philadelphia. In 2020, that region helped Joe Biden win the state and the White House. Biden not only won the collar counties like Hillary Clinton did four years prior, he boosted the margins in each of them, winning bigger. Take Bucks County. Clinton barely edged out then-candidate Donald Trump by less than a percent. Four years later, Biden won it by more than four points. This year, the question is whether Democrats can take the same path. In the past, on occasion, I have voted for Republicans, but I will never again. What makes you feel that way this they year? They have to know. They have to know how bad it was. They have to know that they cannot keep supporting Trump. This year, the former president still influential in another way. I'm feeling like nothing could ever make me vote for a Republican, a Republican again after Donald Trump. Jay Bayless with a plan to vote Republican this year. I'm probably going to go with Oz. Um, and um, I think I'll, you know, I think this time I'll probably go Republican slate all the way down. Bayless says his decision came together early. What were the big, big factors, motivating factors for you? I think economy, price of everything. Um, border, just concerns like that. Do you have faith that whoever you send to Washington could do something about the prices? No. No. And, you know, that we are hearing that, that sometimes voters um, will have issues that play into their decision, but uh, they aren't necessarily laying it on the candidate to do something about it. Now, the rally that Dr. Mehmet Oz is having here this evening is one of several that he's having over this final week as we lead up to Election Day. And we just got word a few minutes ago that John Fetterman is going to be having a rally tomorrow with Democratic gubernatorial candidate Josh Shapiro at Penn State. So a very, very busy week in this final push. For now, live in Ben Salem, I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.